Welcome to Healing Wounds and Burns with Raw Natural Honey and Why Does the Honey Work? Thank you for joining me today at Family Guide to Herbs Online School. I'm Carolyn Gibson, family herbalist, organic farmer, massage therapist, and I will be your instructor and guide today. Now, how many of you include honey in your first aid kits? I hope to convince you to keep this natural remedy on hand for wounds and burns. Now, caution, if you are allergic to bees, you could be allergic to honey or propolis. You could have an allergy to any of the herbs listed. Now, all honey is not equal in its healing and nutritional benefits. A lot of honey may taste better, but normally does not offer the best medical benefits. The more variety in wildflowers the bees forage from, the better the medical nutritional benefits the honey will have. Now the section to this is the Manuka honey and the Revamil, which has the most medical benefits. Ancient cultures used honey therapeutically. It is valued all over the world as medicine except the United States. Many ancient texts prescribed honey for sores, wounds, and sore eyes. In the 1930s, honey was scientifically proven to be an effective antimicrobial. In 1989 and 1992, there were many other studies providing proof of honey's medical value. Honey is so effective for skin wounds that in the UK they have a medically approved honey that is used in the hospitals called Meta Honey, which is the Manuka honey. In the Netherlands they have a honey called Revamil. The bees are raised in a closed greenhouse to guarantee their source of nectar. Of course, these honeys are very, very expensive. They are the only ones allowed in the hospital for medical treatment. These honeys have been gamma irradiated to kill the microbes and spores. Now, although honey does not support the growth of spores or microbes, they can still be in there. The antibacterial potencies of these honeys have been verified. Manuka honey is rated by its antibacterial potency, UMF, Unique Manuka Factor. Hospitals using Manuka honey for its medical benefits use a rating of at least 10 UMF. Now you can go to their website for further information. Your regular raw wildflower honey will work in most cases, even though its antibacterial potency has not been verified. Now serious infections might require the Manuka honey. Now, really serious, serious infections might require the specially developed Manuka honey products, such as gels and impregnated bandages. And you can uh, check out the Dermasciences.com for a complete description of these products. More research has shown raw honey to be effective against the Halobacteria pylori and Superbug MRSA. Now, keep in mind that these serious, serious conditions require treatments with Manuka honey with a rating of 15 or better and special products such as gels, impregnated dressings. Many weeks of treatments were required. Honey is an effective treatment to prevent and treat all kinds of infected wounds and burns and outperforms chemical-based medicines. Wounds heal faster with less scarring. Ancient use of honey is now becoming proven in research to work against drug-resistant bacteria and fungus. Now, more research shows that the additional benefits of using honey for wounds is reduced inflammation, reduction in pain, and it naturally sloughs off dead tissue. A wound should first be cleaned with soap and water or a saline solution. Now, using honey does not take the place of cleaning the wound. Now, first fill the abscess, cavity, and depressions in the wound with honey. Cover a four-inch square pad with one ounce of honey. 
Now, if the wound is larger, of course, use a larger pad, but do not use the nonstick pads. Now, you are placing the honey both on the wound and the pad. Cover the wound with this pad, place a dry pad on top of that pad, and then bandage it to keep everything in place. And you would want to change the dressing once a day until the wound stops oozing. Now, if the dressing becomes saturated, change more often. Once it stops oozing, it can be changed once a week until it is healed. Honey draws fluid and dead tissue away from the wound and into the dressing. Now, the honey should prevent the bandage from sticking. Now, if the bandage does stick, use a saline solution or sterile water to moisten the bandage. Honey can be applied directly to abscesses and will pull out the infection, leaving a hole. Apply honey to the abscesses and a sterile cloth. Okay, tape it down on all sides to prevent the honey from leaking out. Now, once the abscess has been drawn out, it will leave a hole where the abscess was. So you would want to continue to use the honey to heal the hole that was left. Now, honey is not without problems. It is sticky. Depending on the temperature, the honey may become too liquefied, causing it to ooze out, making it difficult to keep on the wound. Okay, you can try grinding up some bee pollen and mix it in with the honey to make it thicker and to stay on the wound better. Now, honey is outstanding for burns, but first you need to cool off the area. You do not want anything to hold in the heat that would continue the burning. Apply honey directly onto the burn area after the area has been cooled. Reapply after 30 minutes if necessary. Now, large areas will require bandaging the area and taping off the area to prevent the honey from seeping out. Now, you're going to apply honey to a pad of gauze thickly. Do not use a non-stick. You want your burn to breathe. Now, place this pad on the burn. Now, add more gauze pads to take up the leaking honey. Now, remember, you have placed honey on both the burned area and the pad. Of course, you can tape down on all sides to prevent the honey from leaking out. Now, honey immediately seals off the burned tissue from air to reduce the pain. Honey will moisturize the area, act as an antiseptic, preventing infections, and start the healing process. Now, caution, third degree burns require medical attention. The Meta Honey products for burns may be needed. Now, first degrees is kind of reddening of the skin, a second degree reddening of the skin with blisters, and third degree would be blisters with deeper tissue damage. Now, I know we've all burnt the roof of our mouth from hot drink or food. You can combine slippery elm powder or marshmallow root powder and honey into a ball, then suck on it for relief. Honey for shingles. Shingles creates terrible pain and burning. Now, when my sister had shingles, the doctors offered her absolutely nothing that gave her any relief. I had just recently bought a bottle of Nuka honey, just in case I needed it, and started applying it to her face. Now, she had relief in less than five minutes. Now, I do not know if my raw honey would have worked as well. I just didn't want to try it since that was already working. Now, it did not stop the internal nerve pain, but it did stop the topical burning. Now, when she started to heal, we switched to the propolis oil. Now, you would now have to look really, really close to see the very fewest, tiniest of scars. Now, why does honey work? Now, most wounds heal best in a moist environment. A moist environment supports bacterial growth. Honey solves this problem because of its antibacterial properties. The main antibacterial properties of honey. Osmosis. Cells require equilibrium. When they are put into a sugar saturation, such as honey, the water and the bacteria or fungi cells seek equilibrium and basically die of dehydration. 
Now, burns and wounds could be treated with a sugar solution, but these sugar solutions lack the other antibacterial properties of honey. Honey has a pH of 4, which is acidic. Acidity inhibits the growth of bacteria. Hydrogen peroxide production. Now, honey does not contain hydrogen peroxide, but produces it when it comes in contact with body fluids around a wound in a minuscule amounts. In a continuous, slow-release fashion, effective against bacteria, but not harmful to the body. Now, we all remember hydrogen peroxide from our childhood. It was fascinating watching it foam and bubble up around our sores. And for the most part, it did not sting. Now, hydrogen peroxide does destroy bacteria on contact, but will also damage skin tissues. Now, doctors no longer use it on patients without diluting it first, or they can use it full strength to clean their instruments. Now, depending on which flowers the bees have harvested, there are unknown components that have antibacterial properties. Flavonoids and antioxidants are also present in different amounts depending on the flowers harvested and what time of year they harvested. Now, honey also enhances the immune system, reduces inflammation, and stimulates cell growth. Now, healing with honey is not a religion. If you are not seeing positive results, you need to seek medical attention. Now, for more healing remedies with honey, check out my online class, Healing with Honey and Propolis, at FamilyGuideToHerbs.com. Now, thank you so much for joining me today. Now, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this presentation. And don't forget to visit FamilyGuideToHerbs.com. This presentation is for information only. It is not to be taken as medical advice and is not meant to be a substitute for consulting with your health care provider.